contaminated NHS blood has devastated the family of Maureen Murphy, seen here with her son. Her husband, William, a haemophilia patient, died after being given infected blood. Within three years, his two brothers, treated for haemophilia with similar blood, had also died. Until I get answers, I don't think I can grieve for my husband because every day I, I get angry as to why this happened and when it shouldn't have happened. And I hope that this inquiry, I may get the answers to what I've wanted for so, so long. During the 1970s and 80s, patients with haemophilia were given a treatment extracted from the blood of thousands of donors. But four and a half thousand patients were exposed to hepatitis C because the treatment was contaminated. Of those, around 1,200 were also infected with HIV. And since then, an estimated 1,700 have died. There are now claims that the Department of Health ignored warnings about the danger of buying blood from prisoners in American jails like this one. A letter seen by the BBC from the head of Britain's Public Health Surveillance Centre in 1983 expressed fears about the risk of AIDS. But one doctor insists at the time they were still struggling to understand the AIDS virus. The reason that people got infected was because it, there was very little knowledge. We didn't isolate the virus until 1984, by which time um, the vast majority of the patients had been infected. The government is now considering releasing documents from the time to help this privately funded inquiry into what's been described as the worst medical disaster in the history of the NHS. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News.